Well, good day, tubes, and how's she hanging? Pretty good here. Well, I did a bit of work on this the other night. I remember the other day, I think I might have mentioned I had her out, and I didn't really have any rear brakes. Still don't really have any rear brakes. Um, there's an issue, I think, with the little master cylinder under here, which is this little guy right there. You know, so you push on the lever, and that squeezes pressure through the line back to this rear caliper. Now the front, <laughs> there's a line that also goes all the way along the frame, joins in the front, that goes to the front ones too. So I guess they all kind of sort of go when you squeeze the front ones, but then this one just squeezes the back one, I think, as far as I know anyways. Uh, so I need to uh, either get a new master cylinder for that thing and install it, or maybe try to get that one off and clean it, but uh, I don't know if that's gonna be today. I wanna get the oil changed on this today. So I should uh, get it warmed up. Let her sit there and run a few minutes. I gotta run down to uh back that off. Huh, little ground wire of some sort, I don't know. As far as I know everything's working, but um I'll just leave it for now. I'll start it up running a little bit later on. I need to use a little tractor here after to yank her down to the garage so I can change the oil in it because I have sort of kind of neglected this thing since I've had it. And I haven't really put many K on her, but um, I've only changed oil once in it since 2007, so that's not sort of too good. But anyways, first of all, I gotta run down to the Home Depot and get some supplies. Supplies and then I'll come back and uh, hook the little tractor onto onto that uh, trailer and pull her down and we'll change oil and that thing. It's kind of a... I think I know why I haven't bothered to change oil. Actually, I, I know I got a kit like four years ago, planning on doing it, and I never did it. Oh, geez, you know what? I might have done it when I... I'm going to have to look and see if my, that kit's down there. If it isn't down there, then I'm screwed, but uh, I kind of don't think I did. But I did change. I know uh, when the radiator got himself all bunged up there a while back there, we had to take it all apart to... Uh, uh, man, I gotta open some of this. Take it all apart, clean that out. I think I changed all the differential fluids and everything then too. But I can't recall if I did the oil, engine oil. If I did, then I'm in trouble because I don't have a filter and I usually just got them in kits. And uh, I don't have one if I haven't used it. I can't remember, it's been so long. But anyways, uh, what's inspiring all this is they finally opened up the old railway bed trail for ATVs and if I wanted to I could go for a ride from down here this our way to oh, I think by car it's like maybe a two-hour drive so it's pretty cool <laughs> it's a pretty long drive by ATV it's probably more like three hours with all the crossings and stoppings and stuff you got to do so I've been kind of wanting to go on that, you know, and uh, I thought the other night, well, let me look at these brakes and see uh, what what I can do here, and you know, if I can if I can uh, fix them or whatever, and blah blah blah. And I, all, all I did was uh, uh, open the bleeder screw and let it kind of bleed through, and then just pump the brakes like you do on the car. So tighten the bleeder and then pump, 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 pump until it got sort of firmer. Because before I had nothing. Got a little firmer and then uh, hold her down and then squeeze the or open the bleeder screw again on the back there there's actually two of them and uh, that seemed to sort of kind of work and then it seemed to sort of kind of be working again and I actually had pressure there but as soon as I got it all back together tire back on and everything and everything all good it didn't seem to really do much so I'm kind of thinking that that masters maybe got a bit of when I was flushing her out there was a little bit of wet 
uh, kind of creamy looking stuff coming out of it. So I'm like, uh, that's not good. It's had water in there, which of course it's like right there in the water. So of course it's going to get water in it, which kind of sucked. But uh, anyways, a um, couple little projects I got to do today is I like to get the oil change on that thing. The front brakes on that thing still work fine. So I'm not really too worried about brake wise, but uh, it's kind of nice to have the backs working too, you know, but um, I looked for a, a price, I didn't call a dealership, but I looking online, just eBay and stuff, it's like $130 for that master cylinder. I'm like, holy crap, what the frick is going on here today? Everybody's like here, and then there's like no room to park. You know what, today I'm a contractor, to heck with them. <laughs> well, I'm gonna park in the contractor parking spots here. They only got like 40 of them here, so it's not, you know, like a big loss of them that I'm parking in. But anyways, I gotta go get some stuff for the cemetery stuff here and uh, take her back and I gotta do some work on that and uh, hopefully get this oil changed. But anyways, I'll go get my supplies. So you can see I got a little stack of wood there. I got to make some more, um, oh, what do you call them? Name stakes, I guess they're called name stakes, where someone buys a plot or we bury someone and I don't really have anything to mark it with yet. You know, I use these one by twos, put their name on it and plot number or whatever, and then just kind of plunk that where they bought until I get my actual corner marker post stones in. Um... So that's what I got to do there. I got to cut a bunch of them and I think I usually do uh, two foot lengths or something around there. More than that, it's kind of a waste because you don't really need that much room. The only thing I, I like to keep them a bit higher for if it happens to get into winter time and then you've got um, snow covering the stakes and you don't remember where anybody was kind of thing, right? So it's kind of nice to see, uh, well, unless you got a whole whack of snow, it's kind of nice to see a little something sticking up through the snow, right? And you're like, oh, that's where Joe Smith was buried or whatever, you know? So um, that's what those are for. And uh, what else did I get? I got a roll of marking, orange marking tape. Hopefully I threw it in the back there. Pretty sure I did. Orange marking tape. Oh, it's got me worried now because I threw the wood in and I can't actually remember throwing this other stuff in. I'm gonna have to stop and have a look, I guess. I'm pretty sure I did. I can't see it back there, but... Um, Anyways, uh, orange marking tape, I gotta mark some, uh, when I'm out mowing uh, this time of year, I mark some of the monuments that need like the foundations repaired underneath them. So when the guys come in and they're like, yeah, we're here to repair some monuments for you, I'm like, okay, then I know where they are because I marked them. So if I don't mark them, I'll end up forgetting where they are. Because I got one of those brains in me. Don't remember nothing. So, uh, but anyways, uh, when I was in the Home Depot there, I got a text from actually the concrete guys. And for some reason, they're out, out at an old, uh, what the frick is this guy doing? FedEx truck. Okay, bud. That's not exactly legal, but I guess you can do that with a nice short trailer. Holy. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, they're out digging a grave on this cemetery way out in the country here. And he's asking me, oh... How much room do I need for a vault? I'm like, uh, blah, blah, blah. You need like, the vault's 35. You should dig at 36, but you actually need 37, 36 to 37 max tightness for the lifting cables that they lift the vaults with. So I'm like, uh, 37 safe, but you should have at least 36. Um, sometimes they'll have to put them down if it's really tight between say two other vaults, they'll have to put it down and leave the cables on because you can't get them out then because they're jammed down between the other vaults, but uh, the odd time it's, you know, most times it's pretty good. 
but uh, so I'm just going out to uh, to see what they're doing. Uh, can't film that though because this is not my cemetery, and uh, they don't want to be on camera. Those guys, so I've asked them a few many times, and no, 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 no interest in that. I'm like, okay, no problem. <laughs> but um, so I'm just going to go out and you know, they've dug lots of graves before because they they get. Um, lawn mowing, trimming, and grave digging contracts, so I don't know why he's having problems. I guess he's just a little sort of worried that it's not going to be big enough. It's, it's not big enough. It's not big enough. <laughs> There's not much you can do other than move the guy next door over a couple inches just to get a couple more inches in your hole, which I've had to do before, and that sucked. So, um, I'm just going to go out and check them guys out, and then uh, we'll head her back and then get changing that oil, and then uh, while it's sort of running and dumping out we'll um, well run it for a bit get set up for cutting this wood and uh, then I'll get the oil dumping out hopefully I've got the kit there I can't remember it's been so long <laughs> but we'll find out okay so these guys are good just wanted to check the grave they just were a little bit leery of it so anyways, they said everything's good it's supposed to be right in where the cone is there so they are pretty much done when I got here anyways, and everything looked good for size-wise for their vault to go in, so that's good. So anyways, head our home. Alright, so let's get this trailer to put on here. I'm a little high from when I... Uh Head her off the truck, but that's okay. We've got a jack here to uh, assist us with that. I think that's going down. And uh, start this ATV and let it run for a little wee bit while well, it's uh, get the oil warmed up a bit and circulating around and any contaminations might be in the oil will get all flushed around and then uh, ooh. fire this thing up here. I just got to really watch when I turn with this thing. But I don't uh, cut into the trailer at all because it's really tight there once you turn, right? So, let's head her down to the garage and I'll just make sure I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure I got the kit there for changing the oil, but I'm not 100% sure. So, <laughs> oh, before we go past the truck too, Gotta throw that stuff in we just picked up. Pretty big trailer behind this thing. Can't turn too tight there, right? So let's grab this stuff. This tractor totes this thing along here. I don't have it tied on or nothing, so uh, I did throw that stuff in. That's the marking tape. I got to mark some monuments for the guys to fix. And my wood for, for some stakes, wood stakes. So I could probably take this for a little drive around, but I, I, I'm not going to. See, I lost all that pressure again there. 
I think I must have some air in the lines because that was tight, but then I squeezed it, it was just like, eh. Sort of grabbing, but not sort of grabbing. I don't know. I don't like that too much. Might have to do some more bleeding, bleeding things. Okay, there's that kit. I knew I had one. I hadn't used her, and there was the price about six years ago. I don't know how many years. Thirty-four ninety-nine. I think it was. It's probably about forty-five dollars now. But this kit consists of of what? It's not even been opened yet. Wow, no filter, hopefully that's all right. Two jugs of oil, and not so much I paid for it, I guess, way back. So this is hopefully still all right. It's been sitting there for a while, but actually if I look on that invoice, it'll be able to tell me when I bought this. Ah, synthetic too, eh? It's funny, it doesn't tell you a grade, or I would just go buy some. I don't know what what grade this the soil is I don't know now there's the date I bought that oops five years ago and it was probably a year when I bought this so it's probably six years ago I changed oil on my ATV but I've only got like I haven't put that many K on it you know so it's not like I was runner for a long time so what do we got here 185.2 hours uh, 1553 K on it so there's really nothing on it at all, so it's not really that bad. It's more leaving it too long kind of thing. Well, I don't know if I like these brakes or not. Mmm. It's not too good. All right, so the fans have kicked on once here already, uh, which is good. That means she's warming up good. I'll wait till the next cycle goes through. And uh, we'll shut her down. Should be any time soon, hopefully. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll get dumping the oil out. I'm actually working on taking off the black cover here, uh, just because. Also, I want to check the belt, the drive belt under this cover here. And I think you pretty much have to, hopefully, not have to take everything off. But uh, there she goes. Just to get in there, I think it would make it a little bit easier. Okay, so the cool thing is there's uh, all these little push screw thingies here. Push, you know, push the plastic in, then you squish that down, that locks it together. And then there was three screws holding this, well, four screws actually. There's one for my second person footstep thingy. Uh, three screws, like that, but the best thing is, <laughs> they're the same exact size as my uh, still screwdriver torquey bit thingy there so I'm like sweet so that come in pretty handy now getting this out of here am I missing something oh it's locked under there which means I'm gonna have to and it's locked under there hmm Hmm. Well, that's a little more accessible. Now, the other benefit of doing that too is uh, to get that filter out of here. I should have showed you before, but it doesn't look bad there. But with this step thing all in here, you can't get in there to get that out. What I found is you had to undo the uh, overflow bottle here, and uh, then you could get in there with your wrench. But I think I should be able to get a something in on there now and she's pretty warm I'm gonna need a wrench and uh, hopefully if I have to I guess I can relieve one two three of these here and that should just allow that to pop up enough that I can get this cover off of here with these bolts looks like they got a few bolts there and then the uh, snorkel there too it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, relieve these things Well, 
I'm gonna have to work at that one. Of course, that one come out good. This one's probably gonna be a pig, and that one, uh, who knows? Anyways. Okay, I'm just getting you set up here. Uh, I'm trying to remember now when I did this well the first time. Uh, now, uh, where is my drainer thing? Hopefully, you guys are looking at the right spot there. Oh man, that's an Allen key. What the frig? Well, that's dumb. I don't remember that, but anyways. Okay, so we got a six millimeter Allen key here. Oh boy. I don't like that too much. It's probably just gonna let go here, but I don't want it to strip it. Oh, there we go. Hopefully she didn't strip her. Because that would have sucked. Oh, you guys aren't really pointing in the right spot there, but that sounded like the little thing just fell in there, the little the little uh, dewy that goes on the nut there, so we're gonna have to look for that after. Six mil Allen key. That's kinda silly. Boy oh boy, she sure smells like she needed to change. Okay, we'll get that positioned somewhere underneath this filter here too. Urgh, which is about there. And uh, I don't know if I can even get you in the right shot here or not. I'm all covered in oil now, which is, whoa, sorry, not too good. There's the filter anyways. Let's get you my little mini tripod here. So from what I remember, it was really hard to get a filter wrench in on that just because of the frame here. So I think I actually remember having to go and buy these oil filter wrenches at Princess Auto for this job. So we might have to uh, try to do it with these, I guess. I remember it was a stupid spot for a filter. But it's turning. I don't think you guys can even see that. I'll try to keep out of the way here. It's not too, too, too well designed, but it's moving. That wasn't too, too bad. Not super fun, but uh, definitely made a difference having that shield off of the footrest here. Holy frig. That was a freaking pain in the rear end trying to get that off of there before. So I'll just unscrew this feller. She's pretty darn warm, so she definitely heated up good. And we'll let her drain. We'll get a bit of freaking free frame protection oil in here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to find that um, little gaskety thing. I heard something go dink as it fell in when I took that plug off. So that's not too good, but guess what I can sort of kind of start working on now is maybe the uh, getting this cover off here and have a look at the, the drive belt. I don't know where I'm going to put you guys. I might just take it off and then when we're ready to uh, reveal it, we'll just uh, clip the camera back on. Because it looks like I'm going to be a few minutes here having to get all this apart and stuff. So give me a second or two and I'll get these bolts out of here. Hopefully they come out alright. Okay, that was actually quite a breeze. These actually screw into plastic, it looks like, so that worked perfect. And they're like a super, really thick coarse. They almost look like a concrete screw. So that worked out pretty good, actually. So I got everything loose. Uh, I think she's ready to come off. I haven't had her off yet, so I have no idea what I'm going to expect under here. I think I got them all off. I don't think there's any hiding one. Come on, you dirty thing. Hmm. Did 
did I miss one? Now I am wondering. Oh crap, I did too. Oh, my bad. Okay, we can get that off easy enough. I <laughs> think. Actually not as bad as I thought it would be in here. Had to be a lot of crap laying down here. That's really good. <sighs> Bit of dirt falling in there. So there's your your primary and your secondary clutch. The belt I think is actually good. It's a little bit of groove there on the, the clutch, but I don't really know what else to check uh, on these things. That looks like it's a bit loose, but. Like they're all a bit loose, so maybe I don't know. But um, it's funny that's where that's supposed to sit, but it would rub. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird because it's supposed to mount on that other fender piece. That's why. So I know there's weights and stuff in here, and these things are supposed to expand and stuff. And this thing. Uh, expands and stuff. These actually are really slick how they work. Actually, that belt looks really good still. So what happens here is the motor's got to spin really fast and then this thing squeezes in. See how it squeezes in on the belt there? So that sucks in and then it grabs, starts to grab the belt and this will actually start to turn your machine. Okay, so when that secondary starts to turn, it'll start to turn, but now when you start spinning or more, this thing spins more, which actually increases the speed of this belt. But then this one, if I can do it. I can I can show you after when it's got the oil change in it. But then this one starts to open and makes this go smaller, which turns the shaft faster. So that's how you get your speed. So you got lots of torque on the bottom with real no speed until it kind of and then it takes off, right? So, but I know you can change weights and stuff and all these and what have you and stuff, but I'm not getting into that. She's uh, she's pretty good. So there's the original stamping from 07. Serial number, I suppose. You can change springs and stuff in these too, and the secondaries, primary and secondary. Belt doesn't look like it's chewed, which is good probably should put another one on while I got it apart here, but I don't even know if I can slip this off of here. So that's not looking too, too bad, actually. These will get kind of glazed up. But, uh, and then sometimes, I've seen on snowmobiles, not so much ATVs, but they'll explode on you, too, and then there's just bits and shrapnel and pieces everywhere and you gotta spend about four hours cleaning it all out. So she's a Polaris belt. Uh, whew, lots of numbers there. CPT 3211116. I can actually take a picture of that and maybe maybe I'll order one in. It's not too bad to put it on. So, But anyways, uh, I guess the oil is pretty well drained. Um, I think that was definitely due. <laughs> Oops. So it's not dripping anymore. Let's see if I can locate there it is. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, that actually looks pretty good in there. I'm uh, I'm liking that. That's uh, I thought it would have been a lot dirtier in there, but it's it's really not. There's very, very little wear in there, so 
I mean, I haven't put many hours on it, right? 135 hours, I think, on it, so that's like brand new still. So, but uh, it's, the, it's the sitting that makes it go crappy. Look at the exhaust over there and the exhaust up here. My holy crap, it looks like it's 25 years old. But anyways. So, um, I guess we can put this sort of back together. Um, now, there's the, I have to clean all this off. I thought I had a towel with me to do. Okay, let's put her together and get some oil back in her. Okay, so new filters on. We got the plug in and we are going to add, it says 1.9 liters of oil, oil, which is pretty much two of these guys. So, uh, well, they're 946 milliliters or one quart, which I've never done the quart thing before, so I'm presuming it's one liter. Oh crap, too fast. A waster. Expensive stuff. Don't get her on your clutch, that's for darn sure. Just kind of let her flow herself in. No idea what grade this is. It's just PS4 Plus. ATV Utility Snow Performance Synthetic Force in Four Cycle Engine Oil. So I don't know. It's probably like a I don't know 10W40 or something. Maybe a 530. I, I don't know. Seems pretty thinnish. Probably 530. I don't. I don't think it makes a huge difference as long as you. The synthetic in her. Oh, excuse me. Okay, we'll let that one drain himself in there for a minute or two. And, uh, not too sure if I'm gonna be able to get to cutting my, uh, cutting my wood today as I wanted to. I didn't uh, really expect on going out to see those guys out of that cemetery there, so that kind of Cut into the time a little bit, supposedly. So we'll get the other jug. And we'll dump pretty much all this one in too. Um, if not, maybe all of it. I don't know. So I'm kind of glad to see the clutch looking that good. It's not really had a lot of hours put on her, so. And if you didn't know, this is a 700cc twin. And two cylinder, I think both of them, they're side by side on an angle. I think both of them fire at the exact same time. Or maybe just a hair off each other. I'm not really too sure. Never had a look at the plugs. They're freaking absolutely buried. I think you'd have to take this whole entire front shroud off just to get in there. I've never had a look at the plugs. <laughs> Hopefully they're good. I actually, I have no idea even really where they are on this thing. I'm sure they're on the top part of the head somewhere here, but pretty darn buried. So what are we at now? We're at, uh, we still got less than half a liter, half a pint here. So we'll go a little more here. I might as well just, whoop, I might as well just put it all in. Tiny little bit extra is probably not going to really hurt it. Plus a bit I've spilled. Oops.
Eh, it's probably pretty good. Alrighty. All right, we're just gonna fire it up, let her cycle around a bit. I wanna check this clutch and stuff. It should activate itself once I give her some. You can see that sucking in there, right? That's how the secondary primary works. You can see this one closing and this one opening. Watch this one first here. Sounds good. Now let's watch this one. This one will open. Pretty good. This thing, I guess, will always spin here because it's getting a little bit of. It's probably better that it does actually, or it'll sit there and it'll burn the belt on that part, right? So it'll just kind of go up to speed. That should be pretty good. That sounded a little funny there when that stopped there. These things slap a bit. That's normal. I don't know. They seem a little loose to me, but what do I know about football, right? Probably should be lubricated too and stuff in there, although they don't look like they were lubricated from factory, so I'm just gonna leave her. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's have a time to cycle through. It's warm in here, so that's on the filter, so that's good. Uh, we'll let her sit while I put uh, all this shrapnel back together here, and uh, we'll check her and make sure she's good. All right, all we got to do is check the oil level here and see how we're looking. I'll just wipe her clean. Should be fine. We are just about there on that top notch dot dewy thing. So that's good. Sweet. All right, this last little engine cover's in. Now we just need the seat. And we're good to rock. I'm going to just let her run a little bit again here. And uh, load her back on the trail and take her back up. But I'll take this crap inside. I guess I'll have to do my uh, marking and stuff tomorrow. Marking some headstones that need repair. Basically, I just got to take this uh, orange tapey stuff. It's not sticky tape. It's just like a, what they call it, orange flagging tape. There's no sticky on it though. You just tie it around and then put like a, a knot in it and then that'll hold for, you know, a little while until they can get to fixing the monuments for me. And that wood we picked up there is for more of these things. I got to cut with my chop saw. Cut them at, I think these are 24 inch lengths. So. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cut them at 24 and then uh, put them in the saw and then zing, zing, and away uh, we go. I'll do that outside though, but it won't be till tomorrow now, I guess. Anywho, that's it for today. Uh, day is done. Holy cow, that didn't take long. Oh man, these days are getting shorter. That's what they say when you get old, they get short. Or shorter. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm glad to get this all uh, all done. I'm glad to see that uh, belt looked really good in there, and the clutches and everything seemed good, and uh, the secondary was good, and uh, there's no like belt chewed off stuff laying in the cover, which was good. And uh, if, you know, 135 hours, it's basically got nothing on it, right? So. She's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But anyways, I guess that's it for today. Uh, if you haven't yet, check out Dilly's channel. You know, everybody knows Dilly. Uh, check out his channel there. Um, put the link in the bottom. I know I forgot the other day, but I'm going to try my hardest to remember today. <laughs> put the link in that bottom. Um, I don't know. I get it uploaded and then I just forget about it after that, right? So, uh, But I'll try my best to, to get the link there and uh, go check his channel out. He's got some videos and stuff on there on his bike and stuff. And... And who knows whatever else he's going to put on eventually there. So uh, just trying to get him started on it, you know, and uh, he seems to be kind of wanting to do it a bit. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll give you a couple of shout outs and, uh, you know, see how you make out. So, but um, anyways, it's getting hot out here today. Holy friggin' crap, go away, son. <laughs> Might go for a little ride on this thing tonight. Maybe I'll take Dilly with me or something. We'll go for a little tour and go up that new trail. Apparently it's ready. So, you know, it's like a long trail. I'm not going to go all the way. I'll just go up to like Shelburne which is like the next biggest town north of us here and it's the old rail line so it's kind of boring but you know you're only allowed to go 50 kilometers an hour where this thing goes easily 150 <laughs> easily uh, it's got lots of power this thing once you get those those clutches spooled out holy frig look out she goes so um, but uh, yeah, we might take a little tour maybe tonight. We'll see. Uh, I haven't asked my boss, the wife yet, if that's okay. But I'm sure she probably will say, yeah, go ahead. So uh, maybe we'll do that. But anyways, I'll let you know tomorrow, whatever, uh, how, how things went. You know, if we blew a belt off or whatever. But uh, hopefully she's good. So anyways, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Go check out Dilly's channel. And we'll catch you when we catch you. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.